Any yep. annoying option. They got a million options to deal with that. Was, yeah. But either way, very good set. I love the mix-ups. I love how it played out. All right, so we're gonna see um, Yanni versus Pyro now. If Yanni oh. wins this, he's gotta have to play. He would have played three matches in a row, which I feel from. But at the same time, it's what happens when you make a loser's tear. The worst part is this is one of Bowser Jr.'s, I'd say, worst matchups because he he tries to up you once. How many villager aerials stop him from getting his cart back? Think about that. that. Well, I mean, one villager aerial just stop. All it takes is one is what I'm trying to say. The, the only one that will let him get his cart back is a triple turnip, basically, because the amount yeah. of knockback it does. Yeah, unless he's at really high percent, a single turnip will not give him his uh, cart back. Not even twin turnip. Turn up Ooh, that downer is snuffing out a villager attack. I like that. Oh my goodness, that had more range than I thought it would. Yeah. This is actually one of the good things about Bowser Jr.'s matchup, is he just outranges everything villager has. Even even Axe, that backer, will go further. Yeah, and because it's disjointed, it, it's just harder for... Uh, Villager do anything about it. A lot of his aerials are because the only part that matters is him and the cart and the little bowling cannonball things that come out of his cart. You can't really hurt those. They're not, they're not. They're not a great aerial, but they just the visual of them applies a lot of pressure. People are scared of them, even though it's not that great. It stays out for a long time, though. Yeah. Oh, he kind of. Oh, the air dodge. That was nice. Because otherwise, he was dead. That was a single turn up, too. The game wanted him dead. He, he would have been gone. That would have killed. <laughs> Silly Yanni. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> Don't get antsy now. You see that? Mer oh, stealing Koopa? I would, lo I would love to see him use that. He's probably just going to hold on to it just so Yanni doesn't have it. And he only has 20 seconds, isn't it? Unless he repockets? 24. 24? Mm -hmm. I, I have not seen the That's repocket. That's risky! Oh my goodness. Yanni following him all the way down there was very risky. He could have uh, he could have been screwed. Alright, so he's got the, uh, what is that called? The hazard roll toy back now. Was like, Pyro, Pyro was in a very good advantage. Oh, he got there. it back! Had just enough knockback for him to get his uh, cart back. The back air sealing it, covering villagers' options at ledge. That was actually the forward air. Before? Really? Ooh. Yeah. They look so like I can never tell usually. The thing is like the one that makes the sound is like woof woof. That's always forward air. And then back air just has one hitbox, whereas forward air is just like the multitude. Noted, noted. So this is a position that vill uh, villager is kind of pressed in, where the opponent is at a high percent, but you just died and because you have no rage, you're not gonna kill unless you get him at the edge. Yeah. Like right there. If Perk can hold that center stage, he'll be in a very good state. But it's, uh, Yanni's Bowser Jr. is good at, like, just running around. He doesn't he doesn't care too much about having center stage because he'll cart back and forth. He can't do it that much against Pyro because, as you see, the uh, forward air and back air just, like, get over here scrub. Oh, man. oh that was so close! You, you saw Pyro want to get the two-frame with Bowling Ball, and Yanni just goes right overhead. Even the, um, what is that called? The grab just barely missing Yanni. Oh, my. Nice wipeout. <laughs> I guess it, it, it's fun seeing Bowser Jr. because his movement is always so crisp for baiting people out and going in. And although Fair snuffs it out, there's a lot of baits happening that Pyro does run into. That almost died with that rage. If Pyro was at like, what, 3% more, I think he would have died. Ooh. Oh my god, if Nair kills across stage, mm. <laughs> I mean, fresh Nair. That it's much rage. It, it almost did just now. It definitely ain't fresh, though. It's, it's pretty stanky. Wow. <laughs> Cart beating out the um the Lloyd rocket right there. He just wiped out and ran through it. Yeah, yeah. The, the wipeout is surprisingly disjointed. It can not. It just goes through stuff. That's it. Good back throw. Getting him with that animal net. Yep, he still doesn't have the Hasbro toy. Very smart, very smart. Making sure that that one option Lonnie had for punishing Lloyd rocket in neutral was not there. And that's it. Yeah, Pyro. Um, he must have just forgotten when he first took it that he has to repocket every now and then. Because uh, he probably took it thinking Yanni would never have it again. And then Yanni started using it again. He's like, oh, I have to pocket it and just pocket, 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 pocket. And you'll never have it. Here's a question. Now, we, we know Villager Aerials can knock the Bows Jr. out and has to recover. What about a, uh, what about a, what about the Koopaling? Can he pull out Koopaling, Z drop it? Would, would no, Yanni get his card back? Well, if Yanni doesn't get hit by the second part of the uh, Mecha Toy, then he won't get the card back because the first hitbox just like. It barely tips you up in the air. So that's a very good tool there. So you can Z drop it, and if you have any air dodges, that's a nair. You cover both options. Honestly, a down air would, um, if they're at the edge of the stage or near the stage, to tech. 
Okay. It's just that Bowser Jr. Uppy, he flies up so quickly, the air dodge, it might go right through it. That's true. Wow, I thought Yanni was doing a jab, and it turns out Pyro was in the middle of a uh, villager jab instead. <laughs> they, they both like their boxing glove jabs. <laughs> right. Oh, I don't oh, know. Oh, no. Do that oh, game. no. Oh, my goodness. That was the riskiest. Because if he had missed the uh, landing on the stage, that air dodge would have killed him, but he makes it back. I was like, Pyro needs to figure out this air dodge time because he's missed every single aerial. He, he needs to lock on to Lonnie's air dodge and just maybe rising up there to cover it. Something. Something, indeed. Oh, no. No jump. Cover up B. Oh, there it goes. He, he just couldn't do anything. <laughs> I hear people out there. It's like, ooh, got him. That would definitely only say a man. <laughs> Here's the thing, now Pyro has a whole lot of momentum off that. Yeah, he does, because that the reverse of what I said before, when Villager kills you early and you're at low percent and Villager well and Villager's at low percent, you gotta work for it. Because usually you don't get combos on Villager, you just get hits every now and then because he's running away like a little punk. <laughs> and on top of that, getting killed early, it just feels bad. It just lowers your your motivation to keep fighting. Yeah. Some people don't get motivation to like, you just kill me early, I will make you pay. Going Super Saiyan mode, right? right. Oh, is that it? Speaking of Almost. which. Dang, fair. I like what he's doing, though. I really like that. Man, I bet Yanni's a little upset that that didn't kill, because he almost had it. Yeah, he felt confident in that, looked like. He almost had the read. If he had um, the board tilted the right way, he would have killed Villager there. That's it. Yeah, I was about to say, if he didn't die, the, if Villager didn't die and held that ra rage, it was promised for Yanni, but if Villager did die, Yanni with 100 rage, Villager at zero, that could have been problematic. I don't know about 100. That'd still be risky for Yanni just because, um, like, by the time he gets Villager within kill percent, he probably would have taken 30 to 40 more percent, and then he died to basically everything. True, true. Is Yanni going to switch? Punch his turn? Like, I, it, he did say, tell me he was going to do this. It's probably just because after the uh, depressing, just neutral air gimp earlier, he's just like, yeah, I have to do this so that doesn't happen. And if he, if he does lose again, he still has a game four. So yes. yeah, I, I, I can see returning to Bowser Jr. if need be. Oh, yes, uh, excuse me. It's two out of three because yes. lack of time. Yeah, it is 10.30 p.m., so. Let me check some real quick. Okay, Bye. just just got an update from the streamer. Losers finals is best three, but grands will still be best of five. Uh oh, down air him, do it! Oh my god. <laughs> Toon Link down air works so well on Villager because uh, the hitbox gets extended because of the balloons. And if he, if he pops both balloons, he'll just pop straight up into it. Well, no, he just gets spiked. What do you mean? Well, you're right, you're right. You're right. Dang. I play Toon Link. Why don't I know that? <laughs> I go for the jank, so that's that's just the type of thing I would know. Well, it's, it's like, if he doesn't go for it, it's like, no bombs. <laughs> If he had held down, he would have been able to continue that uh, upbeat. Well, it doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't have too much knockback, so laying back on stage or ledge might have been a bit scary. Yeah, it's not Link's upbeat where reverse upbeat coming back to the stage kills someone at like 80. That That's just ridiculous. Well, I like the bomb coverage, trying to prevent any turnups by putting an explosion there. But yeah. Pyro's just opting to go for a fair coverage option instead. Yeah. Ooh, nice hit. Let the Lloyd Rock hit him. Like, uh, again, with people not killing each other very early, both these characters have great decelerations to help them live up the side. Like their weight isn't heavy, but they just slow down so quickly. Yeah, especially on battlefield. Like Tewink is definitely not one of the. Oh, no, he wanted late. it. Too late. And you would have popped off if that happened. I would have popped off for him. Oh, that was up air. Uh, I don't know about up air because he was too, a little too low, but back air definitely would have connected. No, it's, it's it, yeah. Just because Villager is so small that I don't think the up air would have connected at that. But you fastball through platform, it's sweet spots. Just like Shulk up there. Okay, that almost killed him. That, dang. 160 rage, Toon Link. I, I expect, if you don't die, a fair cross stage will murk this Villager. Uh, maybe about 10 more percent, like feral kill guaranteed. One thing Yanni can do that might throw uh, Pyro off is to just uh, stand still and use the hero shield on the uh, Lloyd Rocket or the pellets. That's he, it. He does have to be careful of that, though. If he does uh, hero shield it, there is some hit stun to that. He has lag from being hit on shield. Yeah. And depending on Pyro's position, that can be a good punish. Oh, he just tried to do an F smash there. He, want, he, need, he feels the need to get this kill. I don't blame him. Like, Although uh, Pyro's at 119%, basically only things like F smash or up smash will kill right now. Yeah. Back, oh, 
see back air didn't kill right there. And that, that was, that was also bad DI. Bad DI. <laughs> it was horrible DI. Oh, he didn't try anything. It's so safe for uh, Toon Link to punish villagers' recovery like that, just down air. And not too much to do. Oh, that's not where you want it down air. You know, speaking of jank, I really, I'm hoping next time villager goes up the ledge. Do you know fair can hit Jeez. just underneath ledge? Yeah, it he has a little bit of an arc to it. I, I want to I want to see other options to try to snuff Pyro from getting back the ledge. That forward air to the Lloyd rocket. It was nice. He uh, slipped off because of the forward air, and the Lloyd rocket just continued to hit. I like yeah. what I saw Lonnie do there. He wanted to bomb the up smash confirm. Just Pyro paying safe, rolling out of there. Yeah, I mean he's at zero percent, and he wants to win. Uh, Get that chance in second place. Oh, he nice wants it. Foot, nice wall jump by me. He did not. Uh, he did not let Yanni get any chance at any jank. Right, so this is still a very uphill battle for Yanni, just because 12% on Balfour, you're not killing Villager anytime soon. Yeah, I say, I'm really liking uh, Pyro's awareness of the boomerang because there's a couple times Yanni used the backward uh, travel boomerang to try to trap him, and he, Pyro's just not having it. Toon no jump. Oh, no, he lands safely. Yeah, Toon Link Pong, uh, get, having a little bit too much uh, lightweight problems for Pyro to get like any jab to maybe a uh, forward air or back air confirm. Almost got unteched uh, forward air into another boomerang, into another forward air, but can't have everything. No, can't have everything. And with, right now, I've seen Pyro hold, getting back to center stage and holding it. And Toon Link's going to have a lot of problems. That was a nice reverse hit of forward air so that uh, he didn't get punished. Ooh. You have that was almost killed yourself, sir. That was terrifying. Oh, I thought that was a forward air going, a forward smash going the wrong way, which would have been tragic for Yanni. If you would have pivot down to it though, that, that was a that's a down smash. It, it might have sent Pyro very far off stage. Uh, it's only a 54. Like it's it's not like Brawl where the uh, first hit, oh he's got the boomerang now. Watch out for that boomerang. Uh, like I was saying, it's not like Brawl where the first hit of uh, down smash from Toon Link uh, at the ledge at zero, it sends you just the entire other side to take that. That's hit. it. That's it. Good games, those guys. <laughs> Fortunately, best of three. Yep. No, it's like, when I was thinking about sending uh, Villager off stage, it's the first hit, the second hit just racks enough damage to send him pretty far. And Toon Link having center stage and triplats can be very scary.